and identify the greatest common factor. Typically, we use a factor tree. So I'm going to work with number four and number five. This can be broken into six times x, and six can be broken into three times two. 27x, we can break that into nine and three x. Nine can be broken into three times three, and three x can be broken into three times x. So we look for the pieces at the ends of the branch that they have in common. So for number four, the common factor, the greatest common factor is 3x. For 12x, we can split that up into 3x and 4. 3 can be, or 3x can be split into 3 and x, and 4 can be split into 2 times 2. 33 can be split into 3 times 11. So at the ends of the branch, the only thing they have in common is a 3. Compare the expressions 3 times 5x minus 4 and 15x minus 12. Identify similarities and differences between them. So a difference that I notice is this first expression uses grouping symbols. And the second does not. Something that is the same or similar about them is if we were to distribute 3 times 5 is 15 and 3 times 4 is 12. So they are equivalent. What expression does the tabular model represent? As it is written, this represents three sets of 5x minus 4. We have the 3 over here on the left, so it's the one on the outside of the parentheses. And then we have the 5x minus 4 on the top, so that piece is in the parentheses. Use the tabular model to answer parts A and B. What expression does the tabular model represent? It represents 15x minus 12. Use the tabular model to represent the equivalent expression. Explain your thinking. Well, we know 3 is a common factor of 15 and 12. So it can be factored out. Factor the expression. Organize your work by using a tabular model. Well, I know that 9 can fit into both of those, but 27 can as well. 27 times x is 27x, and 27 times negative 3 is negative 81.
we can think of multiple pieces that multiply together to make 50. For example, 5 times 10. Or 25 times 2. So we could put either answer here. But as soon as we pick one, for example, if I picked a 2, in order to make this a true number sentence, this one has to be 25. If I made this one a 10, then to make it a true number sentence, this one has to be 5. And so we have to keep that thinking moving forward. In this one, 15, 20, and 50 all have 5 in common. So as soon as I put 5 here, to get 15x, I need 3x. 5 times negative 4 gives me negative 20, but we also need that y, so it must show up in the other factor. 5 times 10 is 50. So we can rewrite this as 5 sets of 3x minus 4y plus 10. For this one, we're going to choose one half. One half times x gives us a half x. One half times y gives us a half over y. And one half times 2 would give me 1, but one half times negative 2 gives me that negative 1. Here these have an x in common also, and 7 goes into 21. So 7x, to get that y, it needs to show up here. 7 times negative 3 would give us the negative 21, and the x is already taken care of. In this one, the x is in both, and 14 is a factor of 42. So if I take the 14 and the x, I'm left with the y piece. 14x times negative 3 would give me negative 42. Because 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more gives us 42 but it's a negative 42, so we need a negative 3. In number 9, they don't have any variables in common, but we can take out a 2.4. 2.4 times x gives me 2.4x. 2.4 times negative 2 would give me negative 4.8, and we need that y and 2.4 times 10 would give us 24. Six friends purchase play packages at a bowling alley. Each play package includes two games of bowling and 20 arcade tokens. Buying a play package costs $3 less than buying the item separately. Let G represent the price in dollars of one game of bowling. Let T represent the price of one arcade token. And write two different expressions for the total amount of money spent with six friends. Explain how each describes the situation in a different way. So they got two games of bowling, which would be 2G. And they got 20 arcade tokens, so 20T but it's $3 less than buying them separately. So we save $3. This is for six friends. Another way that we could think of this uh, is six friends playing games of bowling would be 12 games. Six friends with 20 arcade tokens would be 
120 tokens. And six friends saving $3 would save $18. So in this red one, we're thinking of it as each person gets two games, 20 tokens, and saves $3. And there are six friends. In the blue expression, we're thinking of all six friends in all. 